So the first one on the list of assets that are already monetized is the e-commerce website. It got most active, meaning people are, you know, like bidding on it and looking at it and stuff. They got most recent. They got the most profitable ones right here. Then you can click lowest price right here, guys. Boom. As you can see, it just refreshed right here. So remember what I was saying a minute ago about how you can go ahead and uh, you can just pull. You, you know what I'm saying? You can you know put together a pool of relatives that like give a dang about your success or something, right? And you can see what they want to do. This one is making $725 per month already. And I know you're like, man, but I, I would have to put up $1,400, man. Well, half of y'all got y'all income taxes now and ain't doing nothing with that. Uh, <laughs> but not just that, guys. This is, I really don't, I really don't uh, like to suggest this one right here, but loans, you can get loans and stuff. You understand? Uh, but my strongest suggestion is this partner with somebody. Partner with somebody that you know have the money. What I mean by that is listen, if I give you the perfect SEO game plan, if I give you campaigns that will help you with all this, and I, I'm not affiliated with Flip or anything, you're not going to find this in the link. So I'm just going to do this because I want to help you guys with this because I don't want you stuck, right? Uh, but I will give you the perfect SEO game plan, the perfect infomercial formula. I will give you campaigns and everything that will help you build whatever assets that you uh, uh, acquire out there and everything to ramp it up. It's already making $725 per month. So you who Whoever goes in with you on that or fronts you the money will get that back fairly quick, especially when you implement the other traffic methods that I'm going to give you to uh, to, you know, get more people to this. So this one is a product review and freelancing uh, service. Uh, it look like anyway, tech review studio, best review site websites in the world. So I guess they make review sites or something. I don't know. Uh, this one is law enforcement ID. It doesn't tell us how much it's making per month. This one is higher priced than this one. And it only makes 1,500 euros approximately. I wouldn't deal with that. Um, wouldn't deal with that. You see how it says confidential? That's because they don't want to you know, show the name of it for you to start going and uh, looking it up and harassing them or, or spamming them or something like that, they're not going to like reveal the name of the brand and until you're actually sure that you want to like purchase it from them and everything. So yeah, that's that's what that's about right there. That's why all of them says uh, confidential. But me, if I were you, I would look for something more close to this area right here that is at least making like $50 a month because that's showing that it's getting a decent amount of organic traffic. And when I say uh, $50 a month, I'm talking about in AdSense. I'm not talking about affiliate offers and stuff, which I got to remember is a lot of these people are flipping sites and a lot of them aren't very skilled at getting traffic to their sites or doing online marketing. So just because it says it's making only $50 a month does not mean that you won't make a killing with it. What if all they know is AdSense? What if they don't know that it's pay-per-call offers? What if they don't know that it's affiliate offers? What if they don't know that uh, is actual local businesses in the industry of this website or this asset uh, that would love to buy ad space on these pages of this site that's ranking and getting traffic. They don't know all of these things that you're going to know. So just because you see the news only making $50 a month, that does not matter. If it's monetized and it's getting traffic and they're going to show you the analytics and prove to you the pages and all of that stuff, if, if it's real, then guys, you can build on top of it. The hardest thing is starting from the bottom. Now we hear it. You understand what I'm saying? You People say you got to start somewhere. Well, why? That is it's a pessimistic world. How come when people say you got to start somewhere, they usually talk about at the bottom? How come you can't start in the middle or somewhere at least close to the top? Dang. You understand why you got to start at the bottom? If I if somebody had to taught me this stuff a long time ago, back in the day, man, I'd be so much further. Like, yo, we, we sit here trying to scrape and, and cuddle every cent we can while people are flying right past us. We building businesses 
and, and, and they're buying businesses that are built. You see the difference in the thinking? All right. That means when they purchase this business, they, they already have a customer base already. They just have to introduce themselves as the new owner. They already have a customer base. They already have, uh, uh, you know, um, systems and processes set up. Right. And like all that stuff that you have to figure out at the beginning is already there. You understand? So if you got a nine to five job or something, you got an income taxes or or whatever it is. And you've been trying to figure out how to make money online or, or free yourself from the matrix for the longest time. Because I, 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 I'm out the matrix, man. You understand what I'm saying? That matrix anyway is multiple matrices. Um, make a move, y'all. All right. I ain't going to get to preaching because I, I care about y'all, man. Not like like I know y'all individually. I care about people. To the I hate seeing people get played by systems and stuff that they don't have to be you know, uh, 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 you know, held captive in if they would just unlock certain parts. Right. So anyway, the number two. The number two asset that's already monetized that you can purchase are social media accounts. Now. Listen, guys, this one is very exciting. Because when you purchase a social media account, you're purchasing trust and authority as well. Now, let me be clear. If it's a personal brand and stuff like that, uh, you might want to work from the shadows or something and probably hire that person on or keep making content for the for the uh, for the, the brand or whatever. But if it's just like a, a faceless brand or something, a faceless social media account where the brand is just a logo or or a mascot or something like that. If you purchase something like that, that where it doesn't have a face, do you understand? Like that's extremely powerful because when you purchase a social media uh, account from someone, <laughs> dude, y'all don't even understand. When you purchase that, like you have their lists and everything. I'm not talking about just their email list. You, you might be able to get that, but I'm talking about their friends lists and their followers and stuff. Right. You understand what I'm saying? On top of that, you purchase that you can immediately be profitable depending on the type of platform. You understand? Like TikTok, you can make money while you're going live. Uh, um, all, all of these different platforms have different monetization methods. Uh, Instagram just opened up some type of, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Where you you upload, I think it's stories or something. Or you can monetize that or something. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's already monetized. It already has an off uh, uh, an audience. So all you have to do is make sure you have offers that are congruent with the audiences that are already sitting there built for you. You understand what I'm saying? So let me show you a website. You know, in case you never heard of this website, uh, I think is Player One or what is it? Fan. Man, Jesus, buy social media accounts. All right, be careful because some of these sites are fake and some of them will play you. But I have experience with this one right here, Accounts Market, and I have experience with Fame Swap. So you can come up in here, guys. Like a lot of people aren't telling you this stuff. Like when you see these YouTube channels, just blow the heck up out of nowhere or, or you see people just come out of nowhere and they're famous as a mug. You know what I'm saying? It's not because they just happen to go viral a lot of the times. Sometimes they own uh, like a, a a network of uh, of multiple like social media accounts and they can post their content on all of these social media accounts and force them to go viral because they're the owners of them. Instead of paying for shout outs, they can give themselves shout outs by investing one time into these different, you know, purchasing these different uh, social media accounts and stuff. Now they can do unlimited shout outs and call to actions to their own products and services rather than spending entire years trying to build up these social media accounts. 
when they can get flagged and shut down and banned and all of that stuff, especially TikTok, dude. All right, so <laughs> this is called fameswap.com, guys. Uh, look at this one right here. 12,000 uh, follower account. They say it's 100 bucks. Uh, I don't believe that one. I wouldn't really purchase one, you know, that's a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? It might have fake followers. Like if it's 12, 12 point five thousand followers, not saying that that's like a grand number or something like that, but it's hard for some people to get past 10,000 followers. So it's still an achievement. You understand? But proceed at your own risk. I'll just say that, guys. <laughs> I'm just giving you, uh, uh, you know, letting you know where you can go for certain things. Like, look at this. I wouldn't get nothing like that with her unless you're trying to promote somebody's OFANS account, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but you can go by niche up in here, like here, go to the browse, click on browse right there. I like it the way we browsing right there. Okay. So uh, <laughs> as you can see right here, it says Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. They got escrow where, you know, they you can add a middleman, uh, you know, help you conduct the transaction so that you don't get played or something like that. Um where, a part, you know, they can hold on to the money until like the transfer of ownership is fully given to you and everything. So your money won't be released until you verify that you received everything. Um, so this is like it's extremely powerful, guys. So as you can see, you can come through these. Most of them will hide the name. And so they're sure that you, you know, actually want to, you know, do it or whatever. But you, they will give you some of them will give you a link to the uh, profile and uh, look at this one this one has a thousand followers you know when you get a thousand followers you can then go and uh, put a link in the description in a bio on tiktok until then you can't really do that so they got a thousand followers so let's see the price you have to log in to see the price which sucks but if it's a thousand followers it can't be that much it can't cost that much you know, especially since it don't it don't take that long to get a thousand followers on TikTok. That's like one of the easiest places right now. And he said the price is negotiable. OK, uh, this account is very suitable for starting your own business or personal page. He just wants you to send him a direct message. But if you're trying to get fancy with it, then you can go. I wouldn't go after this one. It says something about makeup. I can see that it says something about makeup. Make sure when you purchasing these. Uh, 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 social media accounts or these assets, period. They're uh, congruent with the business model that you already have. This one looks like a music one. It has 357,000 right there. Okay, so let's check it out. Once again, hiding the dang on price, but they, got, they get an average of 541,650 views per post, supposedly. Um, 1% engagement. They probably Googled that. Average comments per post, 12. Average, I, that ain't all that for all of those. Like, we can at least get 50 to 100, right? That's, that's, that's crazy. I don't know. Maybe they, those people don't like them. But it's a music page, so if you have something to promote for music, you just want to create an account on here, they're trying to force you to create an account. So create an account. And then you'll be able to see the prices for all of them. It seemed like they went on ahead and started hiding all of the prices now. But usually, like you saw on that first page, they're not that expensive. You know, uh, some of them, you know, if it's millions and millions and millions of followers or something like that, then it can get pretty expensive. But if you're just going around getting 10,000, 1,000, you don't need a lot of, this is what I need y'all to understand. You don't need a lot of uh, followers. It's, it's a book out there. Uh, from a, a smart market, I can't remember his name, but he was talking about one thousand loyal fans, right? Like you, a lot of a lot of the tiny channels that y'all make fun of, you know, including mine. <laughs> a lot of the tiny channels that y'all make fun of, like oh, they don't get that many views. Them be the ones that make a lot of money because they have this like loyal, concentrated base of people that come back and watch everything that they put out and purchase everything that they have, right? So that's what I'm used to. Like before all this chat GPT stuff and all of that, when my channel was way smaller than it is right now, uh, <laughs> my, I had a loyal fan base and my stuff has always been high ticket, 5,000, 10,000 and stuff. So if I got a hundred views on a video, 
it's cool if I got three uh, three to five people to take action out of that. You see what I'm saying? So don't frown when you see some of these social media accounts that says, you know what I'm saying, oh, a thousand followers or 2000 followers, them might be the golden nuggets. What you want to do is investigate and see the engagement, right? Like if it has high engagement, guys and gals, then you can like, Ooh, you know, a lot of these people just focus so much on gaining followers that they never focused on how they can monetize it. And now that they have followers, they all burnt out and they like, dude, I ain't making that much money off of uh, AdSense or or these other little uh, TikTok views that they give you and all of that. They don't really know how to monetize it for real because they're not entrepreneurs. They're influencers is a difference. OK, uh, so we got. What's up, Marcus? He says, Shalom. I'm late, but present and accounted for. All praises to the most high. What's up, bro? Uh, DeWine said, hey, I was following the Facebook campaigns and formula you sent me, and I'm generating traffic. However, I'm struggling to actually book clients and make the sales. Should I increase the amount of ad spend? No. Um, you want to refine your irresistible offer. If you're getting, he said, I'm getting traffic. However, I'm struggling to actually book the clients and make them. And then it's the offer. If you're getting the traffic, because it's a simple formula, guys, always. If you're not getting sales, is something wrong? Is one piece missing? Is a piece missing out of the formula? Traffic plus irresistible offer equals sales. It's just that simple. It does not matter the genre, the niche, or whatever. Traffic, meaning people, audience, topic, whatever. If you got an audience or, or a, a demand, pretty much supply and demand, okay? So you replace uh, traffic, the word traffic with demand, and you replace offer, irresistible offer with supply. So if you can control the, uh, the, uh, the demand and uh, you know uh, unleash the supply, then you're going to get the money, okay? Traffic plus irresistible offer equals sales. So if it's... If it, Make sure you simplify everything, guys. Simplify. A lot of these people teach you a million steps to stuff. You understand? Simplify. Simplify it. Make it to where it's like your dashboard in a car. You need to have minimal amount of indicators. You're usually driving along fine and stuff. And when you notice there's something wrong, you don't have to go through a million steps to find out what it is. They created that dashboard to simplify it so that you don't have to be a mechanic to know that you have an engine problem. The light will come on on the engine. I mean, uh, on the dashboard for the engine, right? Indicating that you have an engine problem. So do that with your business. Simplify it. Okay, if I'm not getting sales, it's either my traffic or it's my offer. So do uh, uh, tweak one at a time. If you're getting traffic right now, then start working on the irresistible offer. Okay, it's something with the irresistible offer. If you think, if you believe in your heart of hearts that you have the best irresistible offer out there and there's nothing you can do, even though you can always do something to it. If you believe that, then check your traffic. Check your traffic. Okay. It might be just an uh, uh, you might be just targeting an audience of people that are curious, but not truly interested. You understand? But if you're if your offer is irresistible, you're at least going to get some of the people even accidentally out of that audience. So that's why I believe it might be the offer. So focus on working on your irresistible offer. I told you all go and try to read that book, The Irresistible Offer, Google it. It'll change your life. It will change your Facebook ads. It will change all of that. Read The Irresistible Dang on Offer, please. Please. There's 27 people on here. I don't have no uh, no no um, affiliate link to that book. I probably should get one, but I don't have no affiliate link. I just want to help you convert your thinking because it will become simple to you. Focus on the irresistible offer before you even start running traffic. All of these assets that I'm talking to you about right now, you can fill them up easily if you start with your offer. OK, so you know your audience, you know the pain points, you know what they you know, they you know what they fear, you know what they desire. OK, so good. Now you can take that and create an irresistible offer before you start running traffic. I like to test out my irresistible offer with free traffic first. 
I'll just toss it in some type of random um, Facebook group for free. And if people start responding to that, to just this random Facebook group, they're like, you know, even if people say, yo, I, I'm not even in that field, but I'll take this offer right here. Then, you know, you got something right there. Now you can go and really test it with your good paid traffic. Right. So start working on that. OK. Um, <clears throat> powerful resource. Yes, Lord. Uh, King Jaffe Joe at the table with A.O. A. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to go on that show, man. I, I like that brother, but I'm all the way out in Panama. So I don't know if he, you know, come out here. I'm not trying to come back to the Matrix, y'all. I ain't trying to come back there, even for an interview with, with some of the people that I want to do interviews with. We, if we can't do it virtually, then, you know, if I really want to work with them, then I'll pay them to come out here. I'm not I'm not trying to come there unless it's like life threatening. Like, I don't see the occasion, but. I'm good on on the on the U.S. Um, Marcus says, uh, uh, unknowable man said, Detroit in the building, listening while driving. A hundred k a year will happen for us. Yes, Lord. You understand? Hey, we're gonna go over some of the stuff while you over that road. Uh, Marcus says, five hundred loyal buyers who spend twenty dollars uh, a month is ten k a month. One hundred and twenty k a year. Yeah, when you do the math, man, like it's not difficult. Remember. These are social media accounts. Don't forget, I'm not telling you that you have to go and buy 100,000 follower accounts or a million follower or subscriber accounts. The average Facebook account, if you go look in your friends list, majority of everybody have at least 200 followers, at least 200 followers. Like he said right there, what, 500 loyal buyers? If you can get the 500 loyal buyers and you got an irresistible offer, something that's valuable for them, like I created the asset empire because everybody online is talking about make money tips, tricks and stuff, stuff that works. It all works, guys. I'm not bashing anybody. Drop shipping works, drop servicing works, e-commerce, FBA, Amazon, all of that crap works temporarily, temporarily. I've been up and then been down. OK, temporarily, if you don't own any tangible assets, if you don't own whether you built them or you acquire them or you partner for them or own equity in them, if you don't own any assets. Man, it's so easy to lose everything tomorrow, but a lot of these rich people, they can go cash broke and then they can look at the real estate that they own and say, ah, I can pull equity out about three houses. I'm good. Because they own assets. Is insurance. So that's why I created the asset empire, because I'm teaching my students in the boot camp and in the course to build a moat around themselves. Once they get those assets monetized and get traffic and members like he was talking about to them, that's passive income right there. And they're surrounded by it. You understand? You don't need a lot, though, guys. And gals, okay, all right. So we're gonna continue. Uh, Soul Flow uh, said he just bought the book. Hey, maybe I should have got a dang on Philly link to that mug, man. I've been sending him a lot of people. I don't even know that guy personally, but yeah, it's a good book. I just want y'all, you know, to know the same things I know. Whatever I learned that helps me, I pass it to y'all, and I don't charge for everything that I learn. I'm not gonna say. Every answer that you ask me is not going to be me saying, all right, well, you need to go get my course. No, I come on here. Whoever want to work with me, want to work with me. I'm going to give you guys everything that I can give you. Um, all right. Monde said it's like a is is light on builder all. Um, true theme park product. Been outside the Matrix five years straight. Africa all day. Hey. I still ain't been to Africa yet, man. I'm only uh, two countries in now, two countries deep, Mexico and Panama. But I'm I'm going to make it over there to Africa one day. I'm trying to get my health together right now and uh, focus on helping these people in the boot camp. Then, then I'm going to get back on the road uh, or in the air, if you want to call it. All right. So social media accounts, you can purchase these. 
build them up, continue to build them up. You can use a virtual assistant and different software to continue building them up. You're going to monetize them with ads. You can monetize them with affiliate and CPA offers. You can monetize them with sponsorship deals, or you can flip those social media accounts as well. You can send people to your webinars with... Yeah, yeah, I just don't understand. Getting traffic back in the day was so difficult, man. And it still is for most people. You might have this product or you signed up with this new company and it's awesome. And if you could just get one or two sales, man, but you don't know how to get in front of people. If you got your next check coming up and you bought one of these accounts that got 10, 20,000 followers, you did your research, they got engagement. And they don't know it has a new owner, but people are usually in the comments and saying, yo, we like this. This is what we desire. This is what we like. This is what we hate. And you're paying attention to that and you craft an offer for that specifically. And then you make a post and say, yo, I've been reviewing all of you guys' complaints and desires. And I've come with a solution to help the majority of you guys uh, as well. When you're ready go to the link in the bio and this can change your life. Boom. You understand what I'm saying? And you just bought the account. They don't even know who you are if you did it properly. Right. And then you can make your return right back. This is what a lot of these big business businesses are doing. They're not, they're kind of straying away. They're starting to stray away from uh, traditional paid advertisement like Google ads and Facebook ads because it's getting harder and harder and harder to uh, target the exact people and, you know, be more personalized with it. But influencers that own social media accounts have already built up trust and authority with their, uh, with their followers, so you get to hijack that trust and authority and just plug in your offers, your business, your services. I mean, come on, man. So, you know, when I tell you guys, I know when y'all saw the dang on uh, title of some uh, monetized assets, I thought I was going to say I go buy some apartment buildings and stuff, especially by the thumbnail. <laughs> Those are assets, too, guys, that can start bringing you profit when you purchase them. But. I want you to have as little, you know, at least start off with as little overhead as possible. So we're not going to talk about many physical, um, you know, assets that are already monetized, except for one or two on this list. So make sure you stay tuned for those because those are going to be powerful, too. So it's not many physical assets I would recommend that you go ahead and get and invest in. But but is a few that if you invested in them today could start bringing you back profit like super fast. OK, so now we went over e-commerce websites and we went over social media sites. Uh, next is domain names. Woo! Hey, let's come over here to domain. Uh, uh, go come over here to namecheap.com. All right. Domains are also assets that you can purchase and flip, okay? So let's check this out. Uh, okay, so if you purchase a domain, let's see, watch this. Um, MakeMoneyOnline.com. <sighs> okay, let's see what it comes up with. So they said, make an offer right here. So... You can jump in front of businesses that are looking for a domain name for their new business. OK, let me give you an example. OK, so there are businesses that are registering. They'll go on these directories and all of that stuff. That's one of the first things they do when they go into business. They get business cards, they get flyers and all that traditional old school stuff. Then they make their social media accounts and then they try to make their website. If you can locate those businesses before they make their website and you just know their brand name, for example, um, <laughs> my beef in your taco was that nutty professor uh, too. Anyway, if you if you run into a restaurant that's brand new and the name of it is beef in your taco. <laughs> Ah, snap. Like, OK, so you can go ahead and purchase this because, you know, you you know, for a fact, eventually they're going to they're going to get a website so you can go and purchase the dot com, which is only 10 bucks. 
the dot net, which is only 10 bucks. The dot org, which is only 10 bucks. Those are the main ones that people go after. Dot net, uh, dot org. I, I, and I said all of them was 10 bucks. My bad. This one is 11, 18, and this one is eight bucks right here. And then this one is 10 bucks. So you're not coming out of much. And you can sell those to them for a thousand or two, flip the mugs real quick. And you're like, yo, I'm buying them for so low. Why would anybody pay me that much? Because it's their brand. Nobody wants you to own the brand that they built. So you're the gatekeeper for them owning their own stuff. Like, what would it look like them being the actual beef in your taco restaurant? And when people search beef in your taco dot com. <laughs> beef in your taco. I'm sorry. It just came. When people search that, it doesn't even lead to them. That's an embarrassment. That's an embarrassment. So they're going to pay you a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, whatever it takes. And they can't take you to court because you purchased it before they did. It's copyrighted, date is stamped and all of that. And you don't have anything attached to it. So it's no actual website or restaurant. So they can't say they can't sue you for a uh, likeness or something like that. Hey, they're a restaurant and we're a restaurant and they copied off our name and all that. No, you're just getting the domain. You're not building a website. You're not getting an actual restaurant. You're just going to be the owner of the dot com, the dot net, the dot org. See, so you're fully like protected and everything. So they're going to pay. So when you contact them, I'm like, yo, um. I had a project I was working on a while back and then, you know, but I, I'm going to pretty much shelf it. I didn't even realize it was an actual restaurant out there named Beef in Your Taco. Um, it would be pretty embarrassing for you to actually be the place, but not have the honors of owning the branding, the likeness online, the online presence and the dot com. We own Beef in Your Taco dot com. We own uh, Beef in Your Taco dot net and dot org. Make us an offer. You only spent less than 50 bucks to get all three of these. You can charge them a thousand each if you want to. I mean, <laughs> whatever you want. You understand what I'm saying? Or even slicker, you can do a hybrid model. Hey, if you could, if you don't have, we usually charge a thousand bucks for our domains, especially the ones that we find out are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, already attached to a business brand or whatever, blah, blah, blah. We usually charge that. But if you would give me uh, um, a percentage of your sales for one month to make up for it, then we'll do it for 500. All right. So now you did a hybrid deal. You're getting 500 up front. And you're going to get a percentage of the walk traffic that comes into their site. And if they have a good, decent location or something, then that's money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? You understand what I'm saying? That's bars right there, right? So now, <laughs> so Flo said, <laughs> beef in your taco. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iris said, hey, what's up, Iris? She said, uh, I already have that book. Needs to read it again. Yes. The books that I talk to you guys about, like they're like regulars for me. I'm not a, 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 a I'm, I'm very faithful with things that help, help me change my life. You understand what I'm saying? I don't need a million books. There's a million books out there. You understand what I'm saying? But I go by laws, laws and formulas. And if I find books or when I find books with laws and formulas in there, meaning the ways are established like the Bible commands them to be. It is it's not experimentation. I don't have to guess if it's going to work or not. When I find books like that, then I, they just go into like they're going to be with me. Like and I, I listen to them as like a lot. I listen to clockwork. I listen to authority. I listen to known. Yeah, I need to look that one up, too, man. Known. Oh, my God, man. Oh, oh my God. K-N-O-W-N. Listen, man, I'm giving y'all the greatest hits right now. And I ain't even got no affiliate link. This is crazy, right? But anyway, known the uh the irresistible offer. Ah, in the Bible. Above all of them mugs. All right. Um, yeah. But anyway, 
All right, so that was domains, man. What do y'all think so far? You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think so far about the first, what is that? The first uh, three monetized assets that you can like build on top of and profit from for the long term and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do y'all think? Put a hashtag fire in the comments. Hashtag fire. Let's get the party up, man. You understand what I'm talking about? Um, if you're feeling this, if you are getting some value from this, we ain't in, we just getting started. Black eyed peas, you understand? Bars. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up is one of my favorite. The number four already monetized asset that you can purchase is online courses. Oh, snappage. Oh my God. Okay. So check this out. When you purchase online courses, you also purchase their online presence, whatever buzz they built up for themselves or whatever. Uh, for example, do you guys know who Russell Brunson is? If you know who Russell Brunson is, the guy that, uh, you know, pretty much does all the marketing and he owns, uh, uh, you know, half of click funnels and all of that extra stuff. Russell Brunson, pretty decent marketer, right? He just purchased Dan Kennedy's uh, intellectual properties. So all of Dan Kennedy's courses and stuff. So now he can resell Every course that Dan Kennedy ever like created and came out with every book, all of that. Dan Kennedy is one of the most famous marketers of all time, and he purchased that. He purchased it. Just that. Imagine that's you purchasing. Oh, didn't Michael Jackson purchase Elvis? <laughs> Elvis is like uh, 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 publishing rights and all of that stuff and royalties. Didn't Michael Jackson do that, right? So that's pretty much like that. Because with courses, you get royalties and residuals and everything too, as well as uh, subscriptions, people that are paying you monthly and everything for the courses. It's like you just have a built-in upsell system. If somebody purchase, if you buy the online courses of somebody else, you know exactly who their audience is and their audience has already trusted their name before. So now all you do is make new suggestions to that same audience that purchased those online courses in the past. And you can continue to use Dan Kennedy's name to do it. <laughs> That's crazy, boy. Y'all understand? Yes, bars, yes, bars, yes, bars. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, so that's online courses. So imagine this, man. You don't, you're not an authority in anything. You don't have that much knowledge, but you came across some money or you was able to put, scrape together some money, you and your homies, right? And then you come across this entrepreneur they have a decent sized following. They're not famous to the point to where they would say, ah, please, no. They're at a level where they still kind of want money, but they're making money though. And you create an irresistible offer for them. This is pure leverage. They did all of the content creation on the channels to get people to the courses, and they did the creation of the courses themselves, and they did all the nurturing to the lists and the leads of the people that are going to purchase the courses in the future. So you literally plug into that family right there. So these are, so far, monetized assets that can bring you at least close to immediate returns when you invest in them. Okay. So a lot of people out here doing this, that's not going to expose or tell you guys this. Some people talk about flipping sites and stuff like that, but we're going to get deeper than that. Okay. So next up, next up is stock photography. So you can do something that's uh, called drop servicing. Okay. Or maybe drop shipping in this instance. I can't think. Okay. But you can purchase the stock. Let's see. Stock photography for sale. 
Okay, look at this. So you can purchase the stock photography on this site or find some site where other photographers uploaded their stuff on a more uh, a less well-known website or whatever. You understand? And then you can just re-upload it on a more known, more popular website. So you purchase the rights to it and everything from a, a, a you know a cheaper, less known site, and then you republish it onto one of these type of sites right here. And then you email his list and everybody, uh, and you start making YouTube videos. Hey, if you're a photographer or if you make video content and all of that, and you need good stock footage and all of that, then you can come here, we'll sell it to you and all of that extra stuff. Up. So stock photography is very powerful because the world is being ran right now by content creators. I mean, when you're on YouTube, what do you see? You see an ad for Epidemic Sound. You see an ad for uh, uh, Art List. You see an ad for uh, uh, pretty much all of those little stock. Uh, um, um, yeah, one, those stock websites and stuff that you go and get your stock photos, stock videos, background, B-roll and all of that stuff. That's what you're saying, because they know that everybody wants to be a content creator. So if you can go ahead and purchase the rights to stock photography out in this mug and just resell it, I mean, that's an easy, quick flip right there. Um, Ira says, I have quite a few of Dan Kennedy's books, Master Marketer, Salesman and Copywriter. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Man, it's, it's, it's a lot of them out there, but he's one of the few that are like impressive, right? Um, we got Ardell on here. He said, this stuff is the real deal, folks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Ardell. Uh, Ardell is in the Asset Empire Bootcamp, man. Let them know, bro. Let them know, man, how we do. Okay, so next up, guys. This one is one of my favorite right here because all of y'all know this to be true. YouTube channels. Oh, snap, drop the mic. <laughs> YouTube channels and they don't have to be big YouTube channels. Once again, I want you guys to little lower lower your your scope for a moment and think of channels that maybe have 10,000, 5,000 5,000 subscribers. We'll just we'll just start there. 5,000 subscribers and they maybe get 300 to 800 views per video. But when you go in their comments, they get about 20 to 50 comments on that small channel. It's very it's very hard to get people to talk unless you're talking about some controversial stuff, some negative stuff, then people can't shut up. Right. But it's difficult to get people to comment on your video, even when you tell them to comment on it. So if these this little channel is getting 20 to 50 comments on the videos, then that's heavy engagement for the size. And that's perfect. A lot of the bigger dudes that's out here buying channels aren't going to pay attention to that. But guess what? Once they pass ownership of that channel over to you, especially if it's a faceless channel. Meaning, you know, like the YouTube automation channels where uh, it got the whiteboard video or just the, you know, it's just background stuff or animation type videos and stuff. You buy channels like that, then you don't have to worry about when you take over ownership or nothing like that, because you can just hire a VA and they can continue doing this exact same content that that person was doing right there. So buying YouTube channels. Somebody commented digital real estate, right? Um, YouTube channels is digital real estate, but it is like a factory as well, like a manufacturing plant with assembly lines, though, and is real estate at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. So you got this, <laughs> you got this manufacturing plant, right? You know, with the, and they got the assembly lines and in the assembly, the manufacturing plant is your YouTube channel. Right. And then on the assembly lines are the videos that come out. And when the videos drop off the assembly line into the box or and get ready to get on the ship or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Them mugs are already getting money from the dang on customers 
before it's even shipped out. What I mean by that is if your channel is, if you purchase an already monetized, keyword, keyword today, already monetized. If you purchase an already monetized channel, guys, from the moment you upload a video on that channel, you're bringing in a return immediately, especially if you post similar content to the content that was on there before you acquired that channel. It's going to be a smooth operator or a smooth criminal. Smooth like whatever. You get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> okay, it, you just move in smooth, right? So it's already my, a lot of people are spending all their days. I need to get 4,000 watch hours. Oh, okay, I got the 4,000 watch hours, but only got 500 subscribers. It's so hard to get people to subscribe. What am I going to do? Like, how do I go viral? Blah, blah, blah. Man, it is channels where people are struggling. They're monetized, but they don't know how to get views. They're monetized, but they don't know how to convert the traffic into sales, meaning getting them to purchase the stuff that they suggest, like affiliate offers and, and brand stuff and all of that. They don't know how to do that. So these people have what you want in the already monetized channel, and they'll sell it for cheap because they don't know what to do with it anyway. They'll sell it to you for 500 bucks. And you like, why would they, it's something wrong with the channel. Why would they sell it to me for 500 bucks? And then you go in there and look at their analytics and they only made $20 this month. Just because the channel is monetized don't mean people know how to make money with it. You got to have the right niche, the right like topics, you know, be going after the right keywords for Google or YouTube to recognize to, to pay you enough to be sustainable off of AdSense if you get blessed. And then if you don't know how to get a lot of AdSense money, you still have to figure out like, okay, what is the right type of offers that I can monetize this channel with that my audience will actually be interested in? They don't know all that stuff. But if you hang out with me, you know that type of stuff. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you could come through just like Marcus Lamonis on a profit, find uh, uh, distressed business owners or channel owners and say, hmm, I like this. I think I'll buy it. <laughs> and you buy the channel for cheap, super cheap. You can do it on the site that I'm going to show you. Or you can literally just manually do it. You can go on YouTube and just like go to people's channels. For example, let I just come to YouTube right now. Let's go to YouTube so I can show you just in case you don't know how to do it. Hey, look at that. That's us right there. Okay, so <laughs> all right, so we'll come right here to Chase Renner's channel. We go to the about page and then we view email address. Hit, I'm not a robot unless you are a cyborg watching this right now. You want to be honest. No, I'm messing with you. Okay. And boom, voila, it shows you their email address. Sometimes it's a BS email address, but email it anyway. And then you just simply ask them, Hi, what would be a reasonable number for me to acquire your YouTube channel from you? Um. You don't get that many views. You don't want to start dissing them or anything like that. Uh, you just say, you know, I was trying to gauge, you know, whether or not this channel is profitable for you. And I want to give you a, a lucrative offer that is more than what you're making off the channel right now. What would you suggest? And if they try to talk crazy to you, tell them, don't, don't say no, no, that's too much. Put them on the spot. They probably ain't going to answer back. You understand? Say, all right, well, um, that number might be reasonable if it's true. Can you show me your analytics before I make a decision? But you don't want to ask a yes or no question. Just say, what do you think about showing me? All right. Like if I can get the money together today, when could you show me the analytics proving me to me how much your channel is currently making? If they can prove it, then, hey, there you go right there. You understand? So, but then there are other places that you can go, like Player Up. Okay. Player Up is a place that you can go to and purchase already monetized YouTube channels. Mm, I strongly suggest 
you use the middleman. The middleman is like escrow. Starting to get dark. Might have to cut on the lights, right? Um, it's like escrow. All right, so we come up in here, YouTube accounts, buy, sell, trade. All right, we got YouTube accounts for sale right here. All right, look at this one right here. And most of the time, they're honest. But remember, you can always use the middleman. I think the middleman, 50 bucks or, or something like that. If you're paying 1000 bucks for a channel, what's 50 bucks? Like, we can't be cheap, guys. This is real business here. I hope we ain't got none of them on here right now. Don't be scared to spend vest. I got a channel. I got a. We're gonna uh, talk about spin vesting tomorrow. Okay, is 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 something called spin vesting. All right, um, but don't be afraid of it. So this one is a thousand to ten thousand subs, monetization ineligible. So they can't monetize this channel. I don't know why, but maybe they got penalties or something like that. All right. Now, this one right here. This one is 53 bucks. It has a thousand to four thousand subs, four thousand watch time from 2006 to 2022 for live streaming. So that's pretty good, uh, you know, history on it, guys. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent history on it. Um, it says monetization eligible. I'm wondering why. Let's see. Yeah, see, why is it just eligible? How, how come they didn't turn on the monetization yet? So let's stroll down. These are the ones you want to look for. So this one says a thousand to ten thousand subs. This is the original owner. So this haven't been flipped by somebody. Beware, because some people will start a YouTube channel, run uh, YouTube ads to it to get to that first thousand subscribers and watch hours, or they'll fake some of that stuff then they'll bring it over here and try to sell it so you gotta be very careful and use the middleman and use your common sense okay as well all right so check this out this one is already monetized monetization enabled and no strikes a thousand to ten thousand subs let's see if it can tell us what niche this is in sometimes they'll tell you on here and sometimes they won't we're selling monetized YouTube channels, blah, 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 already monetized. You can start earning money on it right after purchasing. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The channels don't have any strikes and blah, blah, blah. So they out here flipping them. You understand? Uh, that doesn't mean they're doing it in a bad way. Sometimes they're just doing exactly what I told y'all to do, reaching out to channels and stuff that people ain't really active on maybe they haven't even posted in two months and stuff because they're in college <laughs> you know and they'll be like look you ain't doing nothing with this why don't you let me buy this right what the hell hey this lizard just freaking uh <laughs> my bad y'all this lizard just freaking dropped on me from the day i told y'all i'm in the jungle hey here it is on the table right here cuz <laughs> Hey, we live right now, man. Look at that mug. It been up on the dang on uh ceiling all day. And that mug just dropped on my dang on hand. I'm like, yo, and it's super small. So I thought it was an insect. I ain't scared of no lizard. I thought it was like something else, like something else. For a lizard, it's small, but for like if it was a, some type of bug or something, I would have been like, yo, that's big. Yeah, go ahead and put that mug outside, man. Not that way. Go that way. Yeah. Okay. All right. We back, guys. <laughs> Dang on lizard, cuz that's crazy, right? <laughs> you know where you are? You in the jungle, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's crazy. So this one, they only want 640 bucks, man. That's not bad at all. Shut up, Onyx. Dang on dog crying now. All right. That's not bad at all for an already monetized channel. They're going to pretty much uh, once you start communicating with them, they're going to show you the name of the channel. You can go and look at it for yourself and, uh, you know, they'll give you viewer access, meaning you'll be able to log in and view certain things. You just won't be able to edit nothing, but you'll be able to see the analytics for yourself and stuff. You you want that access before you actually decide to make a move. If a person is afraid to give you that access at least viewer access to log into the channel to see things, then I wouldn't do it, guys. Make sure you're safe. 
I don't want y'all coming back and me talking about some David told me to go ahead and buy this, this YouTube channel right here, man. They didn't play me, bro. No, I didn't tell you to buy one and get played. I told you to do your research, take your time, use the middleman and use common sense because this can be a good deal for you. You understand? Rather than wasting months or years trying to get monetized and make money, you can accumulate a lot of money by buying two, three, four, or five of these mugs. They're already monetized. And then you just hire a virtual assistant. And now we have softwares. Now we have softwares that can create the videos, create. I told I taught you guys about Pictory. Chat GPT can create the uh the video scripts, and then you just plug the videos into Pictory, and then you can use Hootsuite. You don't even have to get a VA. You can use Hootsuite or Buffer, which are you know auto posting scheduler type of uh uh softwares, and they could just schedule out your videos uh, ahead of time in bulk on all of your new channels and just sit there making you passive income all freaking dang on day. This is what the, a lot of the big boys are doing. Even Disney bought, did you know Disney bought one of the YouTube channel, uh, one of these dudes YouTube channels for $180 million, a YouTube channel because of his audience. So people are buying YouTube channels. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm finna get rid of the squeaking dog. He's starting to get on my nerves. I don't want y'all to call those folks on me, even though I don't even know if it's folks out in this mug. But yeah, you understand? Like he's starting to get on my nerves, man. All that squeaking stuff. Oh, so we got monetization enabled. I can look at this stuff all day because it's like candy from a baby. It's almost like magic because as soon as the, it's transferred to your account, you're going to get an email. They're going to give you an invite. And you're going to be able to change uh, the, the uh, status to ownership of the channel. Right. You're going to be able to change the status to ownership of the channel. Uh, put the dog outside because he's doing all that wine and stuff. Either take him in the room or put him outside. I ain't got time for it. All right. Um, but you'll be able to change the status to ownership, guys. You'll be able to change it to ownership immediately. And then you'll be able to go log in and start posting immediately. And you can look in the analytics the next day and see how much your video, the new video, then made. So you're pretty much making money instantly. You understand? So, I mean, come on, y'all. This, this type of stuff is crazy. It's about time, freedom. It's about time, period. It's not about just money, guys. So if you can avoid wasting six months trying to mind, watching all of these, how to get 4,000 watch hours and 1,000, if you can avoid all that crap, Spend one thousand dollars getting the freaking channel that already got the thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. <laughs> I wish somebody had a came and me with that back in the day. Um, <laughs> Iris said, "Put that dog out." <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, for so so right. Oh, he said, "Okay, so I meant buying the domain names. Isn't that considered digital real estate?" <laughs> Um, kind of. Hey, Ty, come. I don't know how this unplug. Plug, plug this uh charger up, please. Um, yeah, it might be. Yeah, that is digital real estate. It is. No, no, no. Plug it up in that way, right there. All right. Yes. So that is digital real estate. So you're buying it. It's kind of like a fix and flip, almost. Only you really don't have to like fix anything. So you're just buying it, and then reselling it <laughs> all right so that's not bad that's not bad is it okay so next is podcasts okay and as y'all saw let's see where was that at? i think that was the other site we was just on uh okay where are we at got the domains domains for sale websites blah 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 okay so i think it was the fame it was Fame Swap. I think Fame Swap had the podcast that you can buy. Let's see. <clears throat> come on, come on, Camille. All right. So YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Nope. So it must have been over here. We'll just type in podcast. Oh, snap. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. College Monk. Okay, so they get affiliate sales. 
It's been around five years and it's already it's averaging $13.92 a, a month. That is not bad. You're looking at this right here when you need to be looking at this right here. You're looking at this right here, but y'all need to be looking at this right here. I need you to understand that you pay this one time and then this comes every month. You pay this one time and then this comes every month. Starting. <laughs> Somebody say, hey, I love you too. Well, um, okay. But uh, <laughs> starting, starting as soon as they transfer assets of this ownership, you switch out a few things. And then like you start being monetized. Okay, do y'all understand? This one is 1.3 milli boys, and it is bringing in 35K. 35K per month. This one is only 10. Oh, let me go back. Where's the one that was 10K that I just saw? This one is bringing in four. See, this is more like this one is more like it. Let's see what this is. Sound up now. Okay. Yeah, you got to sign in to view everything. But it is a 32% profit margin. It's been around four years. It's making around almost $500 per month. That is good, guys, for 10,000 bucks. That is good. So remember what I'm remember what I'm trying to teach you guys. It's not about just what if you're on here live right now that's that's texting me on WhatsApp. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And I I you know, I appreciate everything and uh, I'm glad you found me as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'll talk to y'all later, man. Right. But anyway, <clears throat> 500, almost 500 bucks, right? Almost 500 bucks per month. Chances are that's just AdSense. But then you plug in some real good affiliate offer. They might have a few affiliate offers in there right now. But if they're getting as good traffic as I think they're getting, you can ramp it up. And then you find out what keywords that they're uh, 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 getting traffic from. And then you start ranking higher with those keywords using a perfect SEO game plan. So this is in the SaaS industry. This is beautiful because ah, the lifetime value of software customers and clients is, 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 is extremely high. So they have a subscription model. So that's how they're getting the $500 per month off of subscriptions, guys. So that's like awesome right there, right? Subscriptions. Okay, so then you add the AdSense if you want to, to the pages that it won't mess up your conversion rate. And then you add some uh, follow-up offers and an email sequence. So when you purchase these guys, I need you to understand that you're also purchasing their email list. This is why it costs ten thousand dollars. It's not just because it's making ten uh, five hundred dollars a month. You're going to get their email list, their customer base as well, and you can upsell them related services and products as well. Okay, so like, dude. All right. Okay. Uh, Will said we can't see. I can see you on this phone right here. Can the rest of y'all see? Is that just Will or is that like everybody that can't see? Let me know in the chat if you can see. Okay. All right. So what's next on the list? Mobile apps. And we're already on here. This one is one of my favorite. Let's check this out. We'll go by choice, uh, by price. Mobile apps by price. This is an already monetized asset. If you have any apps on your phone, and you open the app right now, you'll notice unless you pay for the premium version, there are ads. Whenever you try to do some type of action or something like that, or some type of ad you might accidentally uh, hit, or if you want to like do some type of action or something, they might make you watch uh, three videos or something first or something like that, <laughs> right? So that's like Moby ads, that's like ad mob and stuff. So it's already monetized. So like this one right here. This is just a game. I wouldn't really go after game apps. Okay. I wouldn't really go after game apps. I want to go after stuff that is going to be easier to upsell other products. 
Because guess what you get when you get an app? You get the ability to send push notifications. It's like sending a, a, a text message. It's more powerful. It's more powerful than email marketing because with push notifications, if you have the app installed, like it's like a text message. You get like a notification like on your phone. You see the little icon of the app inviting you to come back and open the app again or open up the website that you suggested or something like that. So you're pretty much on the person's phone all the time. So when you can get on a person's phone, people go everywhere with their phones. This is why from 2013 to 2000, around 2016, it was all of these marketing agencies and agencies making a killing, just going around building apps for uh, local businesses that just have traditional websites. They was like, yo, if you don't have an app for your website or for your business, you're going to look like super lame and old school. You need an app. We'll build your app, blah, blah, blah. This is like, like people was making a killing with that. It was a... Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get this guy to in it, uh, you know, to speak in a boot camp. Um, he had a, a program called uh, App Empire. It was like uh, you know building your own app empire and stuff. So he was just like pretty much he built apps for almost every company in his city. Like he really was just going around like giving away the apps. You understand? And it was it was like like super G and inspiring. So like for a minute, I was running around <laughs> doing the app thing for a minute. So I'm like, yo, this is the stuff, right? <laughs> okay. So now I would, like I said, go after something that has good upsell potential. For example, ultimate body shape editor. Okay. So this has over a hundred thousand downloads. It says, uh, with attractive productivity body shape editor app, best app for investors, and it will be a massive uh, for investors portfolio and earnings. Okay, so right now it says that this is only making five dollars uh, per month. That lets me know that they're having a problem bringing the users back, or they have the ads on there in a way that are extremely annoying. So it's kind of turning people off, right? Or these 100,000 downloads are fake. <laughs> so I wouldn't mess with that because $5 from 100,000 downloads, that's, that's, that's not saying much, okay? Now, this right here is more like it. This one has a service subscription, though. So that means they haven't even applied ads to it yet. This is what I'm talking about, about being able to ramp it, buy it first and then ramp it up. So it's already making $84 per month, y'all. Already making $84 per month. You buy it for 300 bucks. They don't really know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with it. They're like, yo, like, what am I going to do with this? So you got the little base of uh, service subscriptions. You can ramp that up if you know the things that I'm going to teach you on this channel. You make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you'll be able to get more installs and subscriptions for that. You place the ads on there where they need to be uh, placed. You can also upsell if you don't want the ads, then you can pay a premium or, you know, do something else, blah, blah, blah. You understand? So there's so many ways to monetize this further. Besides just getting new users on that mug. OK, so. Let's see. And since this is where is it at? Calm baby sleep sounds slusher. I mean, shusher. So this basically is a, it says two year old baby sleep music app with huge potential for the right client. OK, so I saw this program on ClickBank that uh, teaches mothers different little tricks and tips to put the baby to sleep as well. So if they got this free app right here downloaded or whatever the subscription is, maybe $2, $5 a month or whatever it is, blah, 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 I can upsell them because it's related, okay? Then I can upsell them some type of real consultations with some guru lady or something like, you know, therapists, or I don't know, right? So you want to put your monetization plan together before you actually purchase these assets, right? But yeah, I definitely saw a few offers related to this type of stuff. Right. So once you get this, you already know. All right. So it's already making me profit 84 bucks per month with a service subscription. I could throw the ads on there. That's going to give me a lot more 
uh, if I know how to put good content and uh, features on that mug. And then I can start upselling them extra related stuff. Boom. All right. So we got a salad like uh, finder. Mm, nope. Loan calculators. I mean, mm, no, this is decent. <sighs> Loan calculator. You got 10,000 downloads. Okay, yeah, I would just say proceed with caution. Seven people are bidding on it, so it's decent, right? But you want to make sure you have your plan. You want to have your plan, okay? Uh, Doc scanner, PDF, eh, mm, no. No games, guys, no games. I mean, I wouldn't get no game. Cooling master, phone booster, nope. Fire jumper, another game, nope, 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 no games. Story maker, create. Story for social media, if advertise stories, photos. Mm, nope, four images. Why do that when they could just make stories inside Instagram? Photo editor, nope. Old, oh, that's old, oh, old. Oh. So you just go through these and you'll pick out one of these apps, one or two, three or four or five of these apps, right? I want you like I was, I interviewed uh, Mr. Cortez Ross inside the boot camp uh, the other day. Uh, those of you who are in the boot camp know, right? Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. So I, I interviewed him and he was talking about how he's going to build, like he's made like passively over six, maybe five to six million dollars in the past couple of years over, I'm talking about passively. And we interviewed him inside the boot camp. Y'all, if y'all not in a listen, if y'all not in the asset empire master course, because we just getting started. He's just the first person I introduced them to. If y'all not in the master course, because you're crying because you missed the boot camp, even though I was telling y'all for a long time that the boot camp started on March 1st, you still have access to master course. And the master course has the replays of the interviews and the live streams. So even though you're not live with us, you're still going to know everything because the students that's in there are going to ask the same questions that you have pretty much to the people that I'm interviewing. So, I mean, I'm going to put little clips on, on YouTube, but I can't put everything because, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it wouldn't be fair to them. But like, dude, get inside the, get inside the master course. That's all I got to say, because this is real stuff. You understand? Real business. I wish this stuff was around back when I was trying to come up. I wish it was somebody that told me that I needed assets, told me that told me how to monetize those assets and then put me in a group where we can interview and talk and pick the brains of people that own active assets out there that are monetized and they have longevity in the game. Yo, I wish that stuff was out there for me, especially for only 2K. You understand? So do what y'all do, man. I don't beg, man. I don't beg at all. All right. So <laughs> we did podcasts. We did mobile apps, guys. So next is web applications. Eh, pretty much the same thing. We'll, we'll just skip past that. Custom web applications. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next is SaaS. Okay. So we want to go and look at SaaS. Now, we probably want to do by price. Let's do by price. We'll try the cheap softwares. Okay. All right. So this is for the automotive industry. So a lot of you guys, right? I, in the in the in the, in the, uh, on this channel and inside the boot camp, I've been teaching them how to give away what others charge for in order to chop the legs out from up under your competitors that are only dependent on one monetization method. Their livelihood only depends on one monetization method. You can easily just destroy them in a good way, in a safe, positive, nonviolent way. <laughs> I must destroy you. No, but um, if their only monetization method is charging a subscription for their software and you give away the software for free, man, where does that leave them? So if you buy this, start looking at these assets as bargaining chips to sell what you really want to sell. So let's say that you're a marketer 
I mean, uh, uh, you're an advertising agency or a social media marketing agency, but everybody is reaching out the same way. You have no trust in authority that makes you stand out. Everybody is sending code DMs to these same niches, same local businesses, telling them they can grow their social media or get themselves from social media or, or rank their website. Everybody doing the same thing. <clears throat> but what would make you stand out is finding out what they're already paying for. Already. The, one of the most powerful things other than making people money is helping them stop losing money, helping them save money. They're just as grateful with that. Making money is awesome too. But if, when, you, when you show people that they're leaking unnecessary money, it's like, yo, a gift. So if you like, yo, I see that you're using this type of software right here. I was going to reach out to you about blah, blah, blah. But since you're using this software and I know that this soft software costs blah, blah, blah per month, why don't you just go ahead and use our software for your uh, automotive company? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just, you know, freestyling right here. So now you approach them with authority. Why? Because you're not just some marketing agency you're a marketing and SaaS agency that happens to own a software that they're already using it, using. And you can take away the dang on price of it because you own it. So you're like, look, not only are we going to give you free access to this SaaS software right here for a year, a year. So whenever you introduce them to your marketing services, all they can hear is that they no longer had to pay their software fee that they were paying for every single month. You took that away and you have decent pricing and you built up trust and authority. So if they are to go with some type of marketing agency, who do you think they're going to pick? Just the people that just cold message them out of nowhere that they don't give a dang about or the person that was able to save them money first impression. So when you purchase these assets, guys, these are bargaining chips. When I reached out to the brother to interview him the other day, I didn't just say, hey, man, I want I want to uh, I want to interview you. For, you know what I'm saying? I want to interview you for my boot camp. I let him know the assets that I own because I know he get emails all day. I let him know the assets that I own so he can see what's in it for him. Self-explanatory. I, I don't even have to tell them. Like, listen, I know that you have this product, this service. I have these assets right here and these audiences right here. If we clash, like, dude, imagine what can happen. Boom. We ended up getting them in the boot camp to do the interview. He stayed on there for almost three hours. I only booked them for 30 minutes. That's how G that boot camp is. Everybody want to stay on for a long time because it's awesome, right? But uh, I'm going to introduce him to y'all eventually on this channel, too. He's an awesome dude, man. I can't wait for y'all to meet him. But anyway, so do y'all understand? Let me know. Let me Give me a hashtag, yes, Lord, if you understand how powerful it is to own a SAS. Okay. Uh, Self-made said, what up, people? Back in town, my LLC is a go. Let's get it. Yes, Lord. So Flo said, how do I get on the mat in the master? You talking about the master course, right? Because the boot camp already started. The master course, you just text asset empire. Uh, we see, okay, they just forwarded to me that a couple of y'all have text asset empire. I see you. All right, yeah. What time is it? Okay, so it's five. No, 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 no. It's about almost 7 a.m., 7 30 something. In, in the Philippines. So my 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 VA ain't on there right now, y'all. So I'll get to y'all after I get off of her because she's not going to be on there for a couple more hours. Okay, so I'll give you access to the Asset Empire. Don't, please, guys, I'm not desperate for sales or none of that BS. So don't in, think it's impressive if you text this stuff if you're not really trying to do it, Okay. The Asset Empire course is in a description just so nobody say, oh, I didn't know. Please don't message us. It's two 
thousand dollars. If that is too much for you, or you're afraid of something like that, then don't even text because you don't get no extra brownie points or pats on the back just for texting and then never responding when we send you the invoice. Okay, that doesn't get like you. Believe, yeah, at least I almost invested in myself. No, no, that don't get you no no brownie points. Okay, so because we get the reason I'm saying this because we get a lot of people that get hyped during these live streams or on my videos and they'll text it and then we'll send them the invoice that they ask for and then they just disappear. So please, like. It's not about just leads with me. It's people, I only want to work with people that actually want to work with me. Like it can be just two people. I don't, I don't care about the numbers. So if you believe that what I put out and what I contribute to the game can help you change your life and help you build passive income through assets, then you reach out to me. But if you if you're skeptical or shy or scared to have any type of reservations, I'm not the guy to get you off the fence. I like to deal with adults that understand that in this world, the god of this world right here is money. Unfortunately, the devil, the wicked rules this world. So you need money to navigate around here. So we don't really have time to play. This is why when you come to this channel is a more mature channel. I talk to you guys about real business, not just some tips, 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 tricks. Blah, 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 blah. No. How can you build a legacy? How can you leave an inheritance for your children's children? And one of the best ways of doing that is assets. OK, so software as a service, you want to own one of them, though. All of you who are texting Asset Empire, I will uh, get to you manually after I get off of here. All right. So just make sure you respond back. If you want in. All right. Um, so flow is 1138 p.m. out there in the UK, man. Yo, I appreciate your. Uh, 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 I can't even think of the word right now your dedication, your devotion to yourself. And, and um, you know, I appreciate you sacrificing your time. It is getting late out in that mug, right? So I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So let's move on to the next asset. So that was software as a service. Now we got affiliate marketing websites on here, guys. So we got websites. Come on. Let's do affiliate marketing. Okay. So if y'all ever heard of GearWatch, GearWatch or whatever, um, man, that's like an awesome website. It's all about gear watches. I mean, you can hear it in the name, uh, sports equipment, all different types of electronics and technology and stuff like that. And they structure the website in an informational type of structure. And then they embed these affiliate offers into the content like it, like native ads, basically. So the uh, it will give you a lot of, for example, it'll say, oh, this is the new baby bottle net rated number one on Amazon. And it'll give you a whole list of uh, benefits and how to use it and all of that extra stuff. And right up under that, it'll have an affiliate link linking to where you can purchase the baby bottle, blah, blah, blah. It has thousands and thousands and thousands of pages just like that. So pretty much the pay the website is made to sell already. So when you purchase it, it's going to be bringing in money already if you purchase a good affiliate site that has decent traffic. For example, this one right here. So I listen, listen, guys, these numbers seem big, pause. And I'm not trying to tell you to specifically go after these in particular. Man, my eyes, I look sleepy or high. One of them <laughs> It's getting dark out here, man. But anyway, um, I'm not trying to tell you. I'm not telling you what to do. Everything that I'm saying is just suggestions and, and uh, um, you know, something I would be looking for if I were in a position where I'm seeking assets that's already monetized and I just want to build them up and be able to use them as flotation devices while everybody is sinking from the ugly Titanic boats. Right. OK, I'm trying to help you all with that. All right. So just please just, you know, if you make a move with these things, be careful. All right. So right here, what I wanted to say is 360K seemed like a lot. 
And you only think that because this is an online ass. Well, I can imagine paying $360,000. Yes, you could. Some of y'all want to spend it on a car. And then some of y'all want to spend it on real estate. But real estate got way more overhead, like physical real estate has way more overhead than digital real estate. Physical real estate has way more risks than digital real estate. It's way more annoying, too, if you deal with tenants. You understand what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to look at it like that. When you look at numbers, numbers are relative to we have to learn how to change our thinking, guys. OK, so three hundred and sixty thousand dollars seem like a lot sometimes, but it depends on what you're going after. If I tell you you're going to get a castle. And you know what a castle looks like, then three hundred sixty thousand dollars is cheap. You're like, oh, damn, I was I was expecting to spend millions for that much. Right. If I tell you you're going to get, you know, what I'm saying uh, if you give me three hundred sixty thousand dollars, you're going to. Uh, gain ownership of this dealership right here and is already making, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah amount a year annually. We never been in trouble and we got a good customer base. $360,000 start looking good then. That's nothing. You come up with it, right? So now you have a website and it's real because they, they're hiding it. They're hiding. They don't even want to display it because they don't want you to start sending spam backlinks and making them lose their rankings and stuff. It says a 10 year old calisthenics fitness site with strong organic traffic. So it's in the fitness industry. So that's perfect because they're a passionate niche. So that means you have so much opportunity for upsell. It's a calisthenic site, probably selling calisthenic courses or calisthenic equipment. So if it has calisthenic equipment on there, boom, one of your upsells can be calisthenic courses. If it has calisthenic courses already, one of your upsells can be calisthenic uh, 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 equipment. And then another upsell is supplements for recovery time because when you're doing calisthenics, especially if you're doing bars and stuff, you'd really turn up your muscles and stuff. So if you know your monetization plan, you got that mapped out already, your theme park product, then once you purchase this, boom, the money start flooding in already. It's not just the $8,000 per month that it's making. It's all of the upsells that you just instantly plug into the existing customer base. You're not just buying the site, guys. You're buying the customer base too, the email list, the phone number list, all of that stuff. If they have a channel that's attached to the brand, you get that channel as well. Did you know that? Their social media, you get all of that. All of that, not just the site. So that's why this stuff is crazy, man. I wish somebody came to me. I didn't spend so many. I spent so many years back in the day in the dark working on SEO sites and bit ranking affiliate sites and, and waiting months for them to rank and crossing your fingers, refreshing Google every couple of days, trying to see if it went up a couple rankings and all of that stuff. Because I know once it hits page one, I'm going to start getting some sales, y'all. Like, dude, if I knew that. This stuff that I'm showing y'all, man, I would have just like, okay, save a couple checks, get a payday loan, go to the pawn shop. Boom, I got that right there. It's going to start helping me pay off the debt. Immediately, it's going to start helping me pay off the debt. And then once I'm paid up, it's all profit from there. Cool. No more nine to freaking five. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Look at this one. $12,000. That is cheap. And is already making 400 bucks per month off of affiliate sales. Did you know that you can probably, if it's making that much off of affiliate sales, is a passionate group that's purchasing from it, purchasing from it. So you can create a subscription-based model for this same audience. And if it's not too annoying, you could put ads on some of the sites. So that 400 per month quickly turns to maybe 1400. And then how quick do you think you make that back? Like just have your plan set up before you purchase the assets, guys. Ah, okay, so now we move on. We got the drop shipping businesses. Okay, that's number 12. We don't have to go too deep into that. You guys know what drop shipping businesses are, but I wouldn't recommend you going out the drop shipping businesses because it's um, unless unless it's set up 
properly unless people did their research properly and they didn't rush or struggle at the setup point, it's kind of difficult to make drop shipping evergreen. If you go on YouTube and you watch all the drop shipping videos and stuff, now it, it, it can be done, but it's very difficult to find them that set it up with evergreen products. Is usually trending products because they want to make sure that they get fast sales. So they go after trending products. So that means you can purchase one of these drop shipping websites or businesses. It can be profitable this year. And then next year is like flat. Like you like, dang, dude. Like I was, I, it was all good just a week ago. You understand? Like <laughs> that's what you're thinking. You understand? So I wouldn't recommend that's one of the businesses that I would build from scratch if I had to a drop shipping business because I know how to do it to where it's an evergreen and evergreen type of situation. It's starting to get dark. Y'all can't even see me no more, right? But it's cool. You ain't on here to see me. All right. Uh, 33 people on here, but we ain't even got no likes. Why y'all being stingy, man? Why you being stingy with the finger, man? Why you being stingy with the finger? Get a finger, man. Give it up. Nah. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Next up, listen. Uh, we're going to talk about vacation rentals. Ah, oh, my God, man. All right. I have a business model and a course that I don't even have. I really don't have it for sale anymore. I don't even advertise it, but it's called Hometail. And um, it's an easy way to monetize, you know, homes that are already like making money with tenants, but maybe they have like bad tenants. A lot of these landlords are getting older. And some of them don't have sons or children to pass down their real estate to. So if you can show them a good monetization plan for their assets, some of them will just sign over ownership of those houses to you. And what I mean by that is a lot of them don't even know nothing about Airbnb. I'm talking about the like the older group, older stubborn group. Get that internet away from me, boy. That group. Right? So if you show them the vacation rental model, you can put it on Airbnb. You can put it on Home Away. You can put it on one of those Verbo websites or whatever. You tell them, listen, I know that you have tenants right now that are paying you $800 a month, but what if I could get you $800 a week? Oh, snap. What if I can get you 800 a week and I have my team deal with the tenants, the rental tenants? They're going to I have a, a staff a staff that's going to come through and clean everything, make sure everything is good. We're going to get renters insurance, put another eye name, all of that stuff. What if I did that? So a lot of the times you can purchase these vacation rentals without even spending money. You just have to take your time. What I like to do is I like to do ringless voicemail blasts. I like to do text blasts. So I'll scrape, I'll get, I'll get my guy. I'll give him the zip codes after I do my research from where a lot of people are looking for vacation rentals. So you can use Google Trends for that. So you can just Google. Here, matter of fact, I'll just show you. Show you better than I can tell you, baby. I can show you better than I can tell you, baby. Let's come over to Google Trends. <clears throat> Snappage. Hey, they, did you, what y'all think about the upgrade to Google Trends? You like how I look? I don't really like how I look. Okay, so let me got vacation rentals. Snap. Boom. All right. So now we come over here. What I do like is it, it automatically puts you at past day instead of 12 months like you usually do. All right. <clears throat> So we put vacation rentals in our past day. All right. So it give us some keywords right here. Plumlee vacation rentals, Palmetto Dunes vacation rentals. So some of these are letting us know uh, where is, is a, a demand. Remember, we were talking about supply and demand earlier. All right. So now we're, we can harness the, the, uh, the demand portion of things. OK, so we know Alabama right here. But the best way to really find out where it's hot is to come up right here. 
South Carolina going and raise up. I know it's North Carolina, but I'm just remixing. So we got South Carolina. We got Idaho. We got West Virginia, Alabama, Florida. But we want longevity. We don't want trends. Maybe these are hot right now because of some type of festival in town or, or a carnival or, or, or something like that, some type of event. So we want to check it over time. And we want to choose the cities and states that are kind of consistent over a period of time, consistently getting uh, demand. All right. So we got I want you all to remember, help me with these guys. So I want you all to remember these. So we got South Carolina, Idaho, West Virginia, Alabama, Florida. Whichever ones are the common denominators, those are the ones that we would go after. So we're going to check seven days and we're going to check 30 days. So we got seven days. Let's see what's still there. West Virginia, South Carolina is still there. Mm, pretty good. West Virginia, South Carolina is still there. So now we're going to turn it to 30 days. All right. Hold on. 30 days. Come on, y'all. Which one? Which one going to still be there? Which one? Hey, West Virginia and South Carolina still on there. So those are the winners, man. Those are the winners. Ding, 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 ding up in this mug. So let's see. Now we need to see what cities in particular are getting all the buzz in these states. All right. So we click open West Virginia. Parkersburg and yeah, pretty much Parkersburg. For West Virginia. So now we come back over here. Now we're going to check South Carolina. And we got Charleston. All right. So now we come over here, guys and gals. Vacation, we go to Google. Vacation rentals, Charleston, South Carolina. All right. So what I teach you to do before you even try to reach out or anything like that, or before you even get your assets. Right. So before you even get that that vacation rental, you get the vacation rentals and you try to start reaching out or or something like that. What you want to do is you want to take your directory or your website for your business because you definitely want to have one. And then you rank it over here. You can either rank in the snack pack or you can rank right here. Do it with some videos or do it with your articles, press release, something like that. Position yourself because now when you start reaching out in an area to acquire these vacation rentals, guys, now you're somebody. You're not just a cold caller. You're not just some rando. You're like, listen, I'm the owner of blank vacation rentals. And I know you have tenants right now, but you have monthly tenants paying you around. I know the area 600 to uh, 800 bucks per month, but I can guarantee you at least 800 bucks per week. All right. When can we speak to set up an arrangement for me to acquire this property offer you and still pay you everything? So check this out. Now you can get the property off of him. He can go live his golden girl years and you just give him a percentage of the profits from all of that. So if he's used to making $800 a month, Shoot, you can just give him a little bit more than that and he'll be good. And he don't have to worry about the overhead. They don't have to worry about the cleaning. He don't have to worry about the tenants no more. And then you don't have to worry about it either because you're going to hire a property management company. Oh, snappage. Boom. So, I mean, do, do, do y'all get that, man? Are y'all getting this? Okay. So next up after that. Oh, wow. Maybe y'all saw that show Storage Wars, <laughs> right? Hey, did you know that you can purchase storage units? You purchase storage units and you rent them mugs out. Now, is passerbys, expats, drifters, nomads all the time coming in and out of town? And there's people that just like forget that they got their stuff in the storage units all the dang on time. Maybe they're in a shelter or something and they don't have a permanent place or whatever. So they have good like customer retention. Storage units usually have good customer retention. So that's a good one for you to invest in storage units. All right. Um, it's kind of getting saturated though. Uh, Cause a lot of people are recommending the storage unit. So if you do that, you definitely want to make sure you like do your research and all of that stuff. So as usual, I start in here. I'll come in here and I'll search storage units. All right. 
And then we do our little situation where we figure out where the demand is the most and all of that. So for this example, we'll just go ahead and go with Savannah, Georgia. All right. So now you know everything. You know where you need to reach out. Okay. So storage units, Savannah, Georgia. Snap, crackle, and pop, baby. All right. So if you can get in here, partnership with a business or something to get in here, then perfect. But if not, then just focus on outranking these fools right here. You understand me? Okay. So you focus on outranking them because you're going to start getting calls and traffic and all of that. Then you can go and start purchasing your storage units. Okay. It's not that expensive either. And a lot of companies will invest with you or you can just put together a pool with your family. Like I said, get a few storage units and, and you know, all right, guys, <clears throat> supply and demand. If you guys have trouble raising capital for projects is because you don't have proof of demand, not proof of concept, proof of demand. When you watch the Shark Tank show, they always ask for the sales history because they want to know proof of demand, not just proof of concept. A lot of stuff could work, but sales history show if it's a, a real strong demand for something. So before you reach out to uh, purchase any of these assets, guys, if, uh, if before you reach out to family or friends and stuff like that, or, or to even acquire these mugs. Oh, dang, that's dang on alarm right there. All right. Yeah, before you reach out to acquire these mugs, you might find it a, a good idea to get proof of demand. What do I mean by that is you can start building a resume. I call it a resume, guys and gals. If you're ranking in here, you're positioned, you can start building your resume, okay? Hold on, y'all. I know it's uh, dark in here. I'm finna just tell somebody to, hold on. I don't want to yell in y'all ear. All right, but anyway, <laughs> I know y'all can't even hear me, but y'all, I mean, y'all can't see me, but y'all still on here, right? Um, <laughs> that's crazy, right? Okay, so check this out, y'all. You start ranking Mm, that's that's not good enough. Yeah, I need some more lights. All of the lights, Kanye West life here. Then. Um, let me see. I'm trying to figure. I still don't know where all the lights are. Light switches are in this mug, y'all. Yeah. That's good enough, man. That, that they can see me. We could. We ain't even gonna be on here too much longer, right? Okay. But anyway, so once the phones uh, start ringing, guys. If you have, uh, if you have, uh, what do you call it, a call tracking number, like a 800 number or something like that, you can track the call volume that comes in. That is your proof of demand. If you have analytics installed, Google Analytics or something like that on your website, you have proof of demand. So even if it's a family member that you're going to, to help you invest, you can show them, look, We've over the past seven days, we've had 3,000 people visit this site and we've had 500 phone calls. Only problem is, I, I didn't have any storage units to offer them. As you can see, people want this and they're willing to pay this much. You can listen in on the calls, they're willing to pay this much. I just need you to go have with me or do the investing part and I'll give you this much equity in the company, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You understand? Yeah, I, I appreciate it, y'all. Turn that one off. Like, I can see out outside, but like, I can't really see in the camera. Like, they can't see that stuff. So this is pretty good right here. This is good enough. This is good enough. All right, love y'all. Okay, <clears throat> they tried to like lighten it up in here for y'all, man. I ain't got no none of them fa uh, fancy light boxes and YouTube stupid setup stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um. Y'all can see all the light bulbs in the dang on uh, reflection. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. But anyway, so that's building your, your resume, so to speak, for investors. You don't even have to have sales history. It would be nice to have sales history, but then 
you can answer that question for most of them like, yo, um, that's why I'm coming to you. I don't I got the demand, but you can like help me with the supply. People are calling and telling me, yo, I want to get the five hundred dollar of this or I want to pay this per month. They're telling me that you can listen on the calls. So that means all I have to do is plug in the storage units and we're making money that dang on fast. Right. So if you're trying to build up money out there, guys, for a project or an asset or something and you're having trouble, that's why you don't have proof of demand. If you go out there and build proof of demand, then people will be more than likely that a smart one will say yes to you. OK. So Flo said, are you going to post this live? This is live. Live right now, man. This ain't private. This is on YouTube. This is live. So you can when when it's done, it'll be live. Uh, you can go back and watch the replay and everything. OK. So those of y'all who have already text Asset Empire to the number, uh, I'm going to get to you in a minute. We are almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> self made say hey hold on look look I'm still trying to light it up here it's all right babe it's all right I don't know who's okay for future references all right uh self made say we ain't here for your beauty we here for your knowledge pause all right <laughs> appreciate it appreciate it um okay let's see all right actually that's better here, yeah, go ahead and uh, yeah, she just brought this ring light in here. Yeah, that's that's actually better right there. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, hey, appreciate that. You can just leave that mug right here from now on. Okay. Snappage, that's better. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna get to y'all with the with the asset empire text messages. Okay, so now we're getting to some that's like super G, man. <laughs> This is parking spaces. <laughs> Ain't that annoying when you pull up at a place, you spend all that time trying to find a spot only to get to a spot and that spot is not free and you're going to be there for a while, right? What about those parking spaces by the airport that you have to leave your car at and it's $8 a day and you're going out of town for Whoever knows, you know, how long or whatever, who, who knows how long, right? You understand? Those make a lot of money. So imagine that. You got a big lot. Oh, my God. It's like a physical subscription-based model or something like, right? So, right, you got this big lot. This big lot is actually a store called Big Lots in St. Louis. But anyway, you got big lots, right? And you got 200 you got 200 cars on a lot and all of those people got to pay $8 a day. All you did was paid for the land one time, you know, besides like taxes or something annually or something, right? We ain't going to get into all that dumb stuff. I'm talking about the actual purchase. You only paid for the land one time, y'all. And now anybody that got to fly or go somewhere, even the people, this is another thing you could do. You could provide places for people that sell, uh, uh, rent their cars on two row because a lot of them don't have space at their houses to uh, place their cars for rent and stuff. So they can, <laughs> listen, I'm just giving it all, man. I'm giving it all, man. I don't hold nothing back. So you can reach out to people specifically. You can go on Turo and see, uh, uh, you can go on their profiles and go after the ones that have multiple cars that are in your city. And you can ask them where they're housing their cars and ask them, is it expensive? And you can cut them a deal. Like, look, I have a lot located right here and we got security or whatever, you know, benefits you want to offer them or some irresistible offer. Remember what I said? You tell them that. And you can come and put your cars here. Boom, you fill up that lot super fast. And you're charging $8, $20 a day, whatever you want to do. It's like having a physical subscription model. Like, do. And all you have to do is hit up a realtor. Like, where is your cheapest lot that is as close to the airport that you can give me? Or at least close to the, the uh, shuttles for the airport that you can give me. Maybe it's next to one of the hotels that the shuttle comes to. Like, be a little crafty with it. Try to get you a deal. 
and then work your way up, right? You can buy parking spaces and parking lots, man. A lot of people, when they think of real estate, they just think of apartment buildings because they hear Grant Cardone all the time. They just they just think of apartment buildings and single family, multifamily, all of that do. Parking lots. Because now you're charging per day instead of per month. You understand what I'm talking about? Ah, okay. Um, next up, baby, we got, um, oh, <laughs> billboards. Now, this is a good investment, even though I don't think it's a good investment for businesses. I'm like, yo, I don't understand it. But they're willing to pay $8,000 to $50,000 per month to have their brands and businesses and contact information on these billboards, especially when you get those uh, digital billboards and stuff. So you spend, you buy the real estate, what, the, what I do, what it would do, the smart thing to do would buy it would be to buy the real estate that you want the billboard on. That way, nobody can come back and snatch it up from you. Right. So if you buy the real estate that the billboard is on, then you control a lot more than if you just purchase the billboard. Right. So I, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. A lot of this stuff is cheap or easy to do if you're crafty, if you're creative, if you're not desperate, if you don't move too fast. Be calculated. OK, have a more calculated approach to things. OK, so billboards and it's an, a massive amount of businesses that want billboard space because that literally just puts you just in the spotlight of your entire city. Like voila, like ha. Dude in high school that said I wasn't going to be nothing. Now you got to drive past my billboard every day to your nine to five looking at my business. Right. So check this out. <laughs> You can reach out to realtors. Realtors are uh, some that are known for purchasing billboard space, uh, dealerships, and best of all, with the biggest pockets, attorneys, lawyers. Okay, so do your thing, man. Do your thing. Next up, vending machines. It's funny. Let's come over here right now. I'll show you. Because we got to show and prove, man. We got to say Craigslist. Get Craigslist up real quick. I ain't hit Craigslist up in a, in a minute. It was all good just a week ago, bro. All right. So now nah, we're going to type in here vending machines. Vending machines. And we got for sale. Oh, snap. Look at this. This mug is only 1800 This is only 1800 man. It's only 1800 This one is 900 right here. It does not matter if it's used. Nobody cares if a vending machine is used. Nobody's going to walk up and say, man, I'm, I'm kind of hungry, but this is not a state-of-the-art vending machine, so I'm just going to go hungry and thirsty for the rest of the day. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> People care about what you got inside the vending machine. So you come through these months, you, you can go and get you a quick loan or whatever. <clears throat> And get you a couple vending machines, like super cheap. Look at this. It got the combo pack right here. The soda machine with the vending machine right there. You understand? This one is $450, guys. You get you a nice location. Man, dog. Okay, so these are some of the physical assets. I told you I was going to talk to you all about the physical assets, right? So ATM machines, ATM machines are after the vending machines and you could purchase ATM machines as well. You might want to go with a reputable source. I wouldn't really get an ATM machine <laughs> off of Craigslist. Let's see if they even got an ATM machine. If you do, that, it's stolen like a mug, right? <laughs> okay. Nah. Okay. So. But yeah, you want to go with an actual company. You can Google an actual companies that help you with ATM machines and all of that stuff. The, the good thing about it is people have to have them. You put them downtown, you put them downtown, uh, you put them near restaurants, uh, you put them near uh, laundromats, you put them near strip clubs, uh, you put them near carnivals, like when they have the carnivals in town, theme parks and all of that stuff, you're going to make a killing with ATMs. Or you get the mug and you ship it to Mexico and Panama because the dang on ATM fees here are criminal, dude. 
It's like criminal. I don't know what it's like in the United States right now, but golly, man, they know. Hey, that's gringo. That's American. I'm like, I'm not American, dude. I'm 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 not American. <laughs> they be like, yo, you got American money, right? So yeah, gringo, you at them ATM machines, boy. But anyway, so that's a good business because it works by itself once a week, or you know, you can have somebody once a day or whatever. You don't have to do it. You can give somebody a percentage to make sure they go through, collect and refill and do all of that extra stuff for your ATM machines and your vending machines. It can be completely hands off after you purchase your ATM and vending machines, guys. OK. Uh, <clears throat> so now we got next up. And then we got I think we got one more after that. We have coin operated laundry machines. Woo! All right, I wasn't going to tell y'all this one, but I guess I'll tell y'all this one, man. I'm just playing. I was going to tell y'all this. All right. Coin-operated laundry machines. A lot of people think that you just have to have them in the laundry mat. I don't own the laundry mat. Y'all's real. What are you talking about? I don't have enough to invest into a laundry mat. You don't have to invest in the laundry mat. You just have to have access to a coin-operated laundry machine. Now, what do I mean by that? You can go on Craigslist and you can find a lot of apartment complexes that do not offer laundry to their tenants. And a, a lot of them don't have their own laundry machines or washing machines in a one bedroom or something like that. So they end up like getting mobile laundry done or going over their cousin or mama houses or something. You can look for the freaking um, college campuses and stuff and just implant your dang on laundry machines for free and just offer the campus maybe a percentage of it every month. Like, yo, I got these laundry uh, uh, coin operated laundry machines and stuff. This could be an extra little income stream uh, to help with supplies for students or something, you know, make it like for some calls or some bull crap right there, right? <laughs> and they say, all right, well, just go place them in there. You just go get a crap load of them mugs, plug them in there and boom, turn it over. You just got machines full of coins, gigantic metal piggy banks and stuff that you come in and break open later. You understand what I'm saying? So... <laughs> I'm getting a little tired. When I get tired, I start getting goofy, y'all. But anyway, <clears throat> next up, this one is another physical one. I know y'all have seen it or been a customer of it before. And these are food trucks. I love food trucks. Remember what I said, find money that is moving and then stand in front of it. Now, this money is literally moving because it got wheels on it. It can go from this part of town to the next part of town, that part of town, whatever part of town is popping. If it if they know it's going to be hot downtown during lunch time, then they'd be down there or during rush hour time. They'd be down there. They know exactly what to do. If this if it's a concert in town, they're going to park down the block, uh, down the block or whatever from it. If they uh, uh, is a lot of tailgaters for some type of sporting event, they know exactly where to be. So you purchase the food trucking company and you just keep it going, man. Food trucks are like cheap, for real, for real. I would make sure I purchase it to where it keeps the staff. Maybe don't have to have the owner, but I'm going to keep the staff at least because I don't feel like hiring all them. You understand? So when you purchase these assets and you start building them, guys, you want to make sure you do it in a way where it's still uh, you still have freedom. Okay? You want quick monetization for your ROI, and you want close to 0% hands-on uh, <laughs> responsibilities. That's the whole point of you buying businesses that are already up and running, okay? Where you can just plug a manager or a su supervisor in place or something right there. You understand? You give them your monetization plan to help them scale up. You give them the perfect SEO game plan that I gave you. You understand? And you tell them to follow the blueprint. You help them reconstruct their irresistible offer. I don't care what they've been doing with that company. You help them reconstruct the irresistible offer, make it better, refined, right? You understand what I'm talking about? And then, like, shoot, you just kick back, man. Like I've been through some hard times. If I didn't have assets that were already monetized, man, I'd be out of the game. I got I'm traveling all these different countries. And well, actually, I live out here now. I ain't been in the United States since 2020 
as far as like back home or living or something. I, I had to jump in there in 2001 just to renew my visa from Mexico. And then I flew right back to Mexico like two days later. Nobody even knew I was there. I didn't want nobody to know I was there. I was incognito at the, stayed in the hotel the whole dang on time. I don't like the matrix. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and my whole time I was there, I was like, please don't close the borders for this fake COVID crap. You understand? I was not trying to get trapped over there. But my point is these assets will allow you guys time, freedom and location independence where that, that, okay. I was talking to my wife this morning and I was telling, telling her, we was breaking down what freedom is because on this channel, I teach entrepreneurship through asset ownership. So that one day you can maybe be rich enough to own a ship instead of being so broke, you can only afford a ticket to get on a ship bars. So I was talking to her about what's the definition of freedom? Whatever that number is, that is what you should be striving for. People be, keep telling me, hey, I want to make an extra $10,000 a month, an extra $5,000 a month. Listen, is that freedom for you? If people can still tell you no to stuff or uh, you still got to check prices or you still can't go where you want to go and stuff, is that freedom? That's not really freedom. So, so how I define that is access you know what I'm saying? Access to go wherever I want to go and more access to do whatever I want to do. I don't care about the particular number. It's just if I can do those things, that's freedom. If I can't do those things, then obviously I need to keep working. That's the number. So if you're looking for an exact number, guys, it's not one. So you need to keep working and building your assets and, and cloning your assets out. Cloning out was working for you. You understand? Like I said, I interviewed in the boot camp, Mr. Mr. Ross, not Rick Ross, but Mr. Ross. I just interviewed him and he said his goal for this year, even though he got a lot of assets out there making good money and stuff for him, his goal this year is to ramp it up and create 10 more assets to bring in passive income. What goal do you guys have for this year? You understand? Do you understand these assets are flotation devices for you? When you can't swim, when the freaking current is rough, you understand what I'm saying? If you got these assets out there during a recession or a great depression or a market crash or fake scamdemic, you're good. I was cheesing and smiling up under that stupid mask during the scamdemic because we was making more money than ever. While a lot of people was talking about some, oh, I don't know what's going on. There's no money out here. Yes, it is. When you got your assets set up and they're monetized and you're doing your thing, guys, that's your safety net, okay? During the apocalypse, right? Can't fight off zombies. Well, you might be able to fight off the zombies with it. I don't know. We'll test it out, right? But uh, <laughs> I want you guys to focus on monetizing assets this year. Whether you're doing it with me pause or doing it out there on your own. Listen, I pray for your continued success. I never wish bad about anybody just because they don't work with me in particular. There's a million people you can work with. You understand? God will lead you to who you're supposed to be dealing with. Every beast loveth his like. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're not like-minded with me, then we're probably not going to. Shoot, I just tossed somebody $2,500 this morning because he get on my nerves. I'm like, I will not work with you. I, I don't care about your money. Your money don't put me in, on the shackles. So I, I, I will toss your money back like with the quickness and take your access. So I want to work with people that want to work with me. I'm an open book. As y'all can see, I will teach y'all everything I know, guys. You understand? But I want you to have success out there. There is no cash in without action. You have to put in the work, whether you're doing it with me or not. Don't look at the suggested section on YouTube and start trying to think about what you're watching next for entertainment. You might get a dopamine hit when you watch inspirational videos, but that don't really mean you're doing nothing. Snap out of it. You actually have God created creators. He created creators. You're a creator. You're not just some consumer slave. You're a creator as well. You need to be producing something, giving the world your gift. What assets can you bring to the table? You understand? Assets that can serve other people 
in a way that it serves you hundredfold. Okay, so last time, if you want to get in the Asset Empire Masterclass, where we are going to help you monetize five to seven assets, this is a niche directory, a niche affiliate network. You're going to have your niche website builder, your niche calendar. Uh, you're going to have your, um, what else did I say? Oh, your niche social network as well, kind of like a LinkedIn type situation. You want five to seven monetized assets uh, by the end of this eight weeks where they're going to be generating passive income for you. Your flotation devices, your insurances, your Geico. <laughs> Guess what? You get in here. This is so easy. A caveman. No, I'm just playing with you. But... <laughs> It's simple, but not easy, right? But yeah, if you want to go ahead and make a move, guys, you got the number. Text Asset Empire, like the rest of them, you saw them do it today. Uh, text, text Asset Empire to 314-500-5528. It is 2K. If you are broke or struggling, I understand. I resonate with you, but don't think that I'm going to be lenient because do you see this? Like I got wedding rings and stuff. And when I was coming up and trying to do this, I was using my last paychecks. I was using my income taxes. I was uh, uh, getting loans against my car. Uh, I, my car even got rep repossessed a couple of times. We almost got evicted from me trying to learn this stuff. On top of that, I was pawning my wedding, our wedding rings and my wife was there for me. It was sad situations, but I was determined that I was going to figure it out because once you figure it out, you only got to figure it out once. Right. So even though I resonate with your situations and conditions, guys, that does not mean don't don't try to play me. You understand if I had to do it. That's the only way you're going to respect yourself or me if you actually spin vest. OK, so it's 2K. I'm not forcing nobody. My phone don't have to ring. We don't have to get any opt ins. It's not going to hurt me. I only want to work with people that actually want five to seven monetized assets in a quick time period for passive income. So if you want that text. 314, text, uh, text Asset Empire to 314-500-5528. All right, so what y'all think about tonight's live stream, okay? Put a hashtag, fire! Fire! Ready, aim, fire! If you enjoyed it tonight, go ahead and put a hashtag, fire. If you saw and enjoyed and you understood the 21 monetized assets, like already monetized assets that you can go ahead and buy, then build and scale up. Put a hashtag fire in the chat for me. Okay, we got DeWine Hayes. He said, can I email you my latest asset? Yes, Lord, I'll check out your asset. You can email it. King Joppy said fire in the booth. Yes, Lord. Iris said hashtag fire. She put the flames. She ain't even put the word, man. We got the hashtag flames in there. I got three of them boys right there. You understand? Uh, Monday said fire lit. Monday is the one that hit us with the $10 super chat earlier, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yes, Lord. Hey, when I was putting this together today, y'all, um, uh, it was even shocking me how many assets I was coming up with that are already monetized. Because like I said, I don't have experience with every single one that's on that list. I have experience with multiples of them, but not every last one. But now even some of them that I was talking to you guys about, I'm gonna be like, yo, I wanna check out some of them too. Even some of the physical ones, like the parking spaces I was talking about. The parking space one, that sounds awesome, dude. We go on Turo and then we book on the profile picture. If they own more, if they have more than four cars on Turo for rent, I'm going to message them and I'm going to ask them where they're parking their cars and how much they're parking them there for. They can come over here and park them here uh, for this month, for the first month, blah, blah, blah. And then after that is going to be that. Give them some type of deal just to fill up your dang on lot, right? That's real estate right there, baby. You understand what I'm saying? So Flo said, hashtag fire. We got the fire right there. You understand? We got to do it St. Louis style. We got to say fire. 
It's fire. <laughs> fire. Fire. <laughs> hey, Mark, Mark has got the fire in there, but he ain't put the he ain't put the hashtag. But all praises to the most high. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We got the fire still, though. All right. Hey, most of y'all stayed on here. It's 23 of y'all still on here, man. I'll be appreciating y'all, man. Like, y'all like hanging out with me, but I love hanging out with y'all, man. Like, sometimes my wife come in here and she'll signal to me and she'll say, <laughs> that means wrap it up. Like, dude, you got to get some sleep and all of that stuff. But I'll stay up to like 11, 12 on here with y'all if I could. Uh, Iris said, inspiration. I appreciate that. Uh, King Joffrey said, you should think of doing some online interviews with Anton Daniels, too. I like Anton Daniels. But, but, we had a uh, we bumped heads with a few things and it's OK. You can disagree with people. Um, but. Even though I'm, a, you know, striving to be a man of the Lord, you have to rule your spirit. It's certain spirits that you get around that can set you off. You understand? And Anton, I'm a very brutally honest person. And so is he. And. um I don't know that it, it could be possible if we just keep it on this topic, because don't forget Anton Daniels. He also talks about like, um, you know, women, men and relationships, the state of modern women and all of that stuff like that. And I get into it with stuff like that because my opinions are very strong because I'm a biblical person. So we don't really we, we bump heads with certain things. So I thought of like reaching out to him. But I was like, yeah, I don't even know if he would even stay on topic because sometimes, no offense, he'd be, he be acting kind of petty. You understand? So we we might get on here. I'm interviewing him and he switched the topic and then boom, like we all unprofessional in front of y'all. I'm trying to keep I want to rule my spirit. You understand what I'm saying? So maybe in the future and maybe after we like work some things out behind the scenes type stuff. But right now, I don't even know if that would be smart. With Anton, but Myron Golden, my goal is to get him. Uh, uh, David Shans from David Never Sleeps or Social Proof. Now, my goal is to get him. If Dr. Miles Monroe was still alive, oh my God, that would that that would be a dream interview right there, boy. Oh my man, yo, Les Brown, dude, yo, hey, I'm I'm gonna try to get a lot of these people, but majority of the people that I want to get, guys, remember what my channel is about. Owners of assets. I want to make sure they're not just some entrepreneur, like just just some random entrepreneur. I, the importance of assets, like you know that that's what I'm about, right? So if it doesn't really fit that, then it, I don't care. If they just got some big following or something like that. It doesn't matter. Like they need to like, like I said, I'm with, with my students. We're building, even me, we're building uh, niche social networks. These are assets that we're going to actually own. Uh, a niche affiliate network, niche uh, uh, booking calendar, a niche uh, directory, a niche website builder, assets. Once we plug in members and users and, and all of that under different monetization methods like ads, subscriptions, email follow-ups, upsells, and, and, and different offers like that, once we plug them into our theme park, my students will be set. I need people that align with that. You know, I don't want to just be bringing people. Yeah, I told y'all we're going to get y'all some interviews. No, people that need they need to align with that. Y'all understand? Um, inspiration. Yes. Uh, King Joffrey says this is some good gems. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But I do. I, you know, I do love brother Anton Daniels, man. You know, I don't have no hard feelings towards him. It's just sometimes we get heated when, you know, I'll be on. He'll have a show and I'll pop up. And um, I say what I say, and you know sometimes I I come off with his response. You just like it gets you out the spirit, you know. what I'm saying, and shoot, I'm still a, I don't want to say a street dude, but I'm not soft, and I try to stay scriptural. I don't like when somebody pull me out of scripture because the scripture says, "If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God." So if somebody start getting you to speak like some n word that you used to be that ain't somebody you want to be rolling with you understand uh el moski says yo you got bars today real bars today yes lord <laughs> you know i stay with the bars 
You understand? Okay. Um, so flow, I'm not ready to progress up just yet, but all your free content is working for me. Hey, y'all heard that, right? The free content is working for them. Listen, there's no rush, man. It's, it's, I mean, no rush on my side. Like, only y'all know y'all conditions. When y'all ready to invest or make a move, I mean, Lord willing, I ain't going nowhere, right? You understand? So no rush. You're not going to be hearing me throw out any type of uh, uh, scarcity tactics. Hey, man, just for the next 48 hours. You know, we used to do all that stupid stuff. But now I'm like, yo, it's about demand. If a person want to work with us, then they want to work with us. I don't want to do all that extra stuff. So March 1st, I told y'all the boot camp was starting in. That was true. Now nobody can get on the boot camp. So I say what I mean, right? You know, but if you want to take your time, take your time. If you still want to consume free content, consume free content. So you ready? Do, do your thing, man. I'm going to come on here regardless, right? I don't hold grudges. I'm not going to be like, yo, these these ain't even buying nothing from me. I ain't giving them no more gems. <laughs> That's them other dudes that don't know how to make money with what they're teaching you. So they get in their feelings if y'all don't buy their stuff. That ain't me because I make money with the stuff that I teach y'all. You understand? So I'm always going to come on here, Lord. Well, nothing happened. I'm always going to come on here and I'm going to give y'all everything y'all asked me for. You understand? I'm not going to be like, ah, you, 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 I can't help you because you ain't buy nothing. All right. So that's fake, right? Um, he said, I learned more from one of your short chat GPT videos that lasted 45 minutes than listening to anyone else. Man, that's powerful right there, man. <laughs> it would have been nice if you had made some testimonials saying some stuff like that. that. That was powerful right there. He said, I learned more from one of your short chat GPT videos than listening to anybody else. That's bars right there. Hey, I appreciate the love, y'all. I appreciate the love. Don't think I don't appreciate the love. That's why it's so easy for me to stay on here a long time. I don't be looking at the time and check. Like, I, I literally enjoy it. Like, what else I'm going to do? I'm about to go and watch. Hey, yeah, I don't know. It's this uh, this show called uh, From, and it got old dude from the eyes in it. He was Link. He played Link's uh, Link on the on the Matrix and stuff. But anyway, that that show off the dang on chain as well as The Last of Us and stuff. So those are the two shows I'm checking out like right now. Um, um, the Flash on this last season and stuff. So it's kind of lame now anyway. But y'all get what I'm saying anyway. I'm getting sleepy, so I'm rambling right now. So flow saying I'm in learning mode. Hashtag novice. Uh, Self made said, "What's up with networks?" Hmm. Oh damn, I'm not supposed to show this publicly. Let me try on my phone. You know we're not we're not promoting networks publicly yet. Right now that's private just for us. So I don't really pay too much attention to it yet. <laughs> um, networks is my my uh social network y'all my niche social network that i'm uh building up with my students inside the the boot camp so he asked me what's up with networks i guess it's yeah i guess yeah it's, okay he might have went up in there and started moving some stuff around in that wordpress crap but maybe i'm late on the domain thing it says account suspended contact your host and provide yeah I think I just got to go and name cheap and uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it probably expired or I probably don't have it on renew, auto renew or something like that. So it ain't no big deal. We ain't got no users on there no, uh, right now anyway. So, but yeah. All right. He said, I'm learning mode, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, man. I kept y'all hostage long enough tonight, man. I pray that y'all done got some edification and you're about to go and apply the ed education that you got, right? So, uh, Lord will, I'll see you guys tomorrow, too. Set your alarms for 5 p.m. tomorrow. Set Yes, family time. Yes, Lord. Set your alarm for 5 p.m. tomorrow. 5 p.m. tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to talk about spin vesting. It's 20 people on here. I at least... Expect to see y'all 20 on here if nothing bad happens. 20 people on here. We're going to talk about spend vesting and we're going to break down saving and investing money.
Like, what is spending? What is investing? Because spending is not the same thing as investing. And it's something called spend vesting that y'all can get used to doing. I mean, just suggesting, I'm not going to tell you to do it, but these are things that will help you stay away from the fire. Because a lot of times we make money, we finally make money with something, and then out of nowhere, it just disappears. And that's probably because you're spending money. You need to learn how to spend vest. All right. Stupid cat. All right. Yeah, I got all these wild, weird animals and stuff, y'all. Okay, man, I appreciate all y'all. Good night, Soul Flow. Good night. Iris, good night, self-made, El Moski, King Jaffe, everybody that was on her, Iris, all of y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all. See y'all tomorrow.